Good afternoon, it's Saturday the 4th, perhaps 5th of January, 2013, not too sure now, but anyway, um, well, well I know it's um, a Saturday, <laughs> no it's 2013, I didn't mean that, but um, right okay, um, I'm going to get over here, it's not that one, it's the tobacco farm one, maybe I'll go for that one as well, I don't know, but I've made a note for myself to get the tobacco farm, so that's what I'm going to get, I'm under orders you see, uh, tobacco, oh large tobacco plantation then, okay, um, and I'll get the farm. <laughs> so there's the farm. I think I worked out that's what I could afford. Oh, I can afford something else. I think there's one in Texas, you know, that I need to get. Well, Texas must be down here, mustn't it? Hey, I've just had somebody um, buy one of my bandolier sets from Texas. It's very nice of him. Uh, I shouldn't name him because it's not fair, is it really? But um, oh, a pewter top bandolier, um, English Award bandolier that's going out to um, Texas soon. I uh, hope to get it out by Monday to him. So, okay. Um, I'm going to check trade as well. Somebody's mentioned to me, uh, was it the number one there? I'm not too sure now. Could well be. Um, about possible trades. Quite right. There are lots of people that, tr that I can trade with. He mentioned Quebec and perhaps someone else. I don't remember who the other one is. They're not very good for me though. I want to go for the non um, French friendly ones. Um, Anybody that's not right, trade partner with France, that's okay. Um, so long as they're not allied to France, because obviously at some point I'm going to break off with France. What about Russia as well? Are they friends with France? No, they're not. Well, let's see if I can get trade with um, uh, with Russia then. Request trade agreement. Ah, now can I get through to Russia? That's the other thing. Am I going to be able to trade with them? Oh, that's a good point. Um, have they got open trade routes? Let's just go and have a quick look at it. I'm hoping today's going to be my last video in this se uh, series. Um, uh, either this one will be the last video or the one tomorrow. Not too sure. I think it's going to be Russia, isn't it? Have Russia got a port that I can get to? They're all Swedish, aren't they? All the ports are Swedish. I can't see myself getting through to Russia any other way. Where is Russia? Come on, Russia. Have you given up the game completely? Austria. Right, the greens all seem to be over here. To, ah, now, have you got a port in there, Russia? Uh, there's a something there. What's that? Commercial port. Right, well, maybe I can trade through there then, can I? Can I? Is, is Russia going through here? Quebec, Ottoman Empire. Where are the Russians training through? Trading through, sorry. Right, Prussia, 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 Prussia. Is that? Oh, Russia. Right, Russia and Prussia. Right, good. Uh, does Russia come up here as well? Yeah, it does. Why didn't I see that before then? Uh, is it here as well? No, it's... I think it's... No. Russia have disappeared. Ah, oh, damn. Where are they? I just need to work out if I'm going to be able to continue to trade with them. 4,600 and something. I think it's going to be one of these, isn't it? So I'm going to trade with Russia. Okay, good. It'll be interesting to see, actually, before I do that... Sorry about this, folks. Um, it, where the trade route's going to run. Is it going to open up a new trade route somewhere around here? Uh, nah, well, I don't know. We'll find out soon anyway, won't we? So, okay, Russia. Uh, request trade agreement. Should we give it a try? Uh, no, they don't like us very much. Well, they're hostile, aren't they? Uh, but somebody's recently made the point that um, a very hostile nation was more open to um, trade, I think it was at the time, than others that are supposed to be friendly. So, let's have a look at this one then. Uh, yep. Maybe it's because they want to take something from us. Ah, very good. Right, now where's that one running through? Mm. Ah, now I might be able to see into here as well, actually. That's a point. Aha, now there it was. I was right. It's there, isn't it? Uh, Spain, 1,926. Russia, uh, something else. <laughs> anyway, no matter. Uh, right, the main thing is I can still trade with Russia. I don't know where their capital is now. They've moved from Moscow. I could find out, but I don't think it's really that important. I'd it looks like Russia aren't going to be a great place to trade with in the future. But what am I getting now? Remember the magic number I'm going for? 8,635 I'm getting from there now. Uh, who can't I trade with? That's Sweden. And the Barbary States. I think I might just get rid of the Barbary States as a trade people, um, a trading partner, whatever you want to call them. Um, can I do that? Yeah, let's get rid of them. What am I getting for trade now? 60, I don't know. Crikey, it's so hard for me to read that. 16169. Okay. Oh, don't know why I keep clicking that. Uh, right. Barbary States. Where are you, Barbary States? Your why have I gone over the top of you? There. Okay. Uh, cancel trade agreement. Very good. Right. Now, how much have I got in terms of trade? Oops. Right. 
Oh, that does not seem to have improved anything. I thought it improved things. Has it improved the overall income? 8,732, getting there. Remember, uh, 12,000 is what I'm aiming for. So, uh, before I start to get my attack together um, against France. So, nothing here. Uh, Quebec, Venice. Uh, Prussia, maybe. I bet you they don't like me. Uh, Quebec, Venice. You see, Venice, I bet you they're friends with... I know they're at war with France. What if I trade with Venice? That might not be such a bad idea, but... Well, they can trade, because it says they can, so... Ottoman Empire. I think Venice are at war with the Ottomans as well, you know, so... Perhaps might not be a good place to go... Th well, I don't know why I'm looking down there. Their place is here, isn't it? Um, oh, I don't know. It looks to me as though Venice are not actually trading with anybody. Well, I could have seen that anyway from before. Venice. Uh, trade part. Oh, they do. They have trade with Austria. Um... Right, who are they at war with? They're at war with France and the Ottoman Empire. The, the Ottomans are going to cut them off, aren't they? Surely, if I start to trade with them. Um, this is Venice, isn't it? Yeah. Where Where's the trade going through for Venice, then? I don't get this. There must be... What about this one? Ottomans? So I'll look at the general trade route coming in. What about that one? Is Venice in there? No. Uh, I don't know where Venice are trading through. Maybe they're just... Ah, they were trading over land with Austria to here, weren't they? Of course. And can I trade with... I can't, actually, because I can't run a trade route through there, can I, to my capital? I bet you they're trading over land. <coughs> Blimey, voice nearly went then. Uh, well, I don't know where they're going, and I can't see any ports that I can trade with them with. So I think maybe... OK, if it's free, I'll go for it. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Um, or do I? Quebec, definitely not, because they're definitely pro-French, aren't they? Oh, no, they're not. Quebec are actually... They're pro-United States and the Ottomans. Maybe I will, then. Request trade agreement, see if they'd like it. Rarely have they been so insulted. OK. Request trade agreement. And give them something. Crikey, they've got nearly everything they need, haven't they? They're doing well. Delighted. Good. And I can still trade with Venice. <laughs> and the Barbary States. Waste of time. OK. What about Prussia? Do you think they'll go for it? I doubt it. Um, actually, just better just check Prussia. Just to make sure... Trade partners with France, but they're not tra they're not friends with France or allied to them or anything. So, oh, why do I keep doing that? Okay, Prussia should have done this off screen, shouldn't I? Um, okay, request trade agreement with Prussia. Technology, do I need to give them something? Government by consent. Let's let's just go straight for that and just see if they'll go for it instead of messing around. Uh, nice it is. No, they don't like it, do they? Um, come on, uh, request trade agreement, and can I give them more than one tech? I can give them that. Oh no, hang on! What am I talking about? I've taken... No, I... <laughs> right, I see what I've done now. Okay. Um, what can I give them, the Prussians? They haven't got a good navy, have they? So let's give them sextant. Okay, for a trade agreement. No, they're still insulted. OK, oh, I'm going to ignore them then and go straight to Venice. OK. Um, request trade agreement. At least I'll get a bit of extra money in. Never in all my day. Oh, come on. Open negotiations. Right, uh, trade agreement. Technology. I'll give you seed planting drill. What do you think about that, hey? They're really good. You saw a rue this day. Oh, come on. I don't want the Barbary States. They're rubbish. No point in having them. It's going to have to be Prussia, isn't it? With two techs. OK, trade agreement. Technology. I've got nothing in here. Sextant and seasoning. Let's try that then. Instructed. They want seasoning and flintlock cannon. You're not getting flintlock cannon off me, I'm afraid. That's just too dangerous. 
sorry about this folks, back to Venice. And Venice, I've done 10 minutes of video and all I've done is negotiate, this is ridiculous. Right, okay, request trade agreement, uh, technology, um, I'm going to give you seed planting drill, and I'll also give you seasoning. How's that? Oh, is that what I offered them? Never mind. Okay, it's over. I'm not, I'm not fiddling about with that anymore. That's just ridiculous, isn't it? Ah, 9,792. Things are looking up, though. Right, 9,792. Right, Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. Right, great stuff. Okay, um, what else did I plan to do? Um, do, 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 do. I think I planned to just end the turn. I think I did. Uh, did I? Yes, I built that farm in Texas, didn't I? Or did I? Flipping out, you know, with all that um, negotiating around. I know I went there, I know I looked at Texas. Did I actually build the farm? Is that it? No. Is that it? Yes, that's the one. So I did build it. Okay, great stuff, let's go. Whew, right, what's that? 11 minutes. Oh, do you know, I really wanted to... I reckon I'm six turns away from a, a decent victory in this game. Trouble is each turn end takes a few minutes and I could just not show the turn ends but that means you out there can't see what's going on and that's not really nice is it? It's good to see what's happening isn't it? Hey do you know I'll tell you what just to fill in the gaps um, I, I was working out today um, about this you know the, the um, uh, child benefit that's given to um, everybody anybody who has, has children they get money from the government I say from the government it's from our taxes isn't it but um, they all get money I don't know what they get it's about 30 odd pounds 36 pounds for two children or something like that well um, anybody that's earning over 50,000 they've got one person that's over 60,000 pounds earnings in their family um, they're gonna stop their child benefit now they talked about this at the election two and a half years ago they've only just got around to doing it they made all the other cutbacks the immediate ones but you know this one they delayed for some reason probably because they thought taking that money off the wealthier people, you know, is going to really hurt them. We'll, we'll, we'll cushion the blow and do it slowly over a period of time. Anyway, that's my cynicism out of the way, but, um, well, for now, anyway, for a few more seconds. But anyway, the point is, they've taken money off. Anyway, I was doing the calculations today, because 200,000 families have already said, OK, we don't want it anymore. Basically, because if they continue to take it, then it will be taken out of their taxes later, it will be more complicated for them, so they thought, well, it's coming in, or it came in on the 1st of January anyway, so let's let's just do it and have it out of the way. Makes sense to me, so they're not messing about with forms and things, you might as well just get it out of the way, rather than have somebody chase you up. But anyway, 200,000. So I thought, crikey, that's a lot. So I worked out, I thought, well, if that's, say, 10% of the total, then how much are we actually going to save? And then I read that they reckon that that is um, something like... 1.2 of the total or something is ridiculous anyway <laughs> it comes to what was this now um right venice let's go look at that uh venice um where is he agent well, i'm going to send him over to somewhere french i don't know where um I, i'll maybe sort of walk him through here and see where he goes on the way yeah that could be good so at least he's going to a place where I want him to be at the end, isn't he? Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> it works out. Something like four million pounds a year <laughs> that was being paid out, is at the moment, to those people. It, what? <laughs> That's just bizarre, isn't it? You know, so... Um, is it four million or four billion? I think, oh yeah, when, when you total it up, it comes to four billion when you include everybody else or some. No, no, it can't be right. Can't, I think it was, f maybe it was 40 million and then double. And anyway, the total came to um, about some approaching a billion pounds a year or something like that. Anyway, that's just being given out to these people. Having said that, they pay a higher rate of tax than other people. So, I mean, they might think, well, hang about a minute, you know, this is getting some of my higher rate of tax back. So, you know, I don't mean to knock them too much. So, right, okay. Um, I want to upgrade my coffee plantation, wherever it is. Over here, I think it's French Guyana I'm going to go for. Is that the... No, that's sugar, you fool. You can see it's sugar. And you can see it wasn't even French Guyana. What have we got here? Come on, where are you? Where is it? I thought I had. What is that? It's not coffee, is it? Spice. Um. Okay, well, let's do this one anyway, because I want to upgrade this. 
um, get this. Yeah, so that's about how many turns? Three turns away. So I should start to get some money for that soon. What are we up to now? 10,000, nearing the 12,000 mark when we go to war with France. Um, I've got a coffee plantation somewhere that I decided I wanted to upgrade. I don't know where it is. Maybe. Oh, maybe I clicked off it. Maybe it was on the building report or something. And I can't, I don't think I can see that anymore, can I? I think it's gone. There might be a way of seeing it, but... Uh, coffee plantation. So a quick whack through, see if I can find a coffee plantation. Oh, too much clicking. Let's do it this way. Okay. Uh, I'm not even sure what one looks like. Come on, I know you're here somewhere. We own a lot of places now. That all need upgrade. What's wrong with that one? Hey, that's not good. Oh, why didn't I repair that before? Uh, more to the point, why were my scouts out there not telling me? <laughs> okay. Um, just kidding, by the way. Let's have a. Uh, should have done this before, shouldn't I, to find out if there was anything damaged? Don't tell me, I've just gone past the coffee plantation. You're all going, what are you doing? What is that one? That, that one's... that's tobacco, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to need to look out for these... Come on. What was that one? That one was also... that's cotton. Uh, I'm going to get bored of this in a minute and decide to do something else. That's cotton. Uh, what's that? Aha! That looks like coffee. Yay! Ah, this is what I wanted. Yeah, because I'm getting the commercial port. I knew there was something. Okay, good. So, okay, good. Done that. And uh, I think that's about it. Uh, building up a little <laughs> little bit of money. It is only a little bit, isn't it? But, hey oh, uh, 10,000. Am I going to make more next turn? Can I trade again? Do, do, do. Persia. Persia? No, I'm not going to trade with Persia. Um, Persia are a one eyed blinking sort of place, to quote my. Uh, crikey, Mike Hardy. What am I talking about? Um, Thomas Hardy. That's who I'm thinking of. Venice, try it again. No, it's not worth it, is it? Let's go for it. Okay, I think this might just be a video of getting my income up to 12,000 per annum. And once I get it up to that, my video after that will be building my armies. And then my video after that is going to be slaughtering France, isn't it? I think. Mm hmm. Uh, nothing exciting happening. No. Mm -hmm. No, nothing happening. Seriously then, <coughs> yeah, this big drive to force everybody back into work in, in our country seems really strange when we haven't got enough jobs for people. We don't need to force people back into work because there aren't enough jobs for them anyway. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. What we have to do is either create more jobs or make the jobs that we've got at the moment generate more wealth so that we can pay for those people that aren't working. You know, I, that makes sense to me. Um, and then we keep them as a reserve force whenever we need them. Single payment, or a peace treaty. Call them, want a peace treaty. I'm not going to pay you for a peace treaty. I might give you trade. What do you think about that, hey? Um, no, can't do it. I didn't even know I was at war with them. Uh, well, let's just do that then. I reject my offer. Okay. Gosh, I'm scared to death. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's really weird. You know, we've got to get people back into work. We've got to force people back into work. People are sitting on their backsides doing nothing because they don't want to work. But there aren't any jobs for them. This is what I don't understand. Where's the logic in all this? Uh, rakes. Right, OK, who is this? Where, where's he going? Um, I don't know, really. What am I going to do with him? 
uh, perhaps take him to a port and drop him in France. Um, maybe. Maybe I could do that. Um, why, though, would I want to do that? I can't really see much point. Uh, I know. Let's put him in a port and create a sloop in this port. Mm, naval recruitment. We'll have a sloop in there. Yep, okay. Now, what have we got here? Recruitment port. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, um, I wonder if I need any more of these in the future. I'm really not too sure I need any more. Have I got any fleet arrives? Let's have a look at those, and then we'll see what we need. Because you'll probably find, you know, that, that I've got a full stack here soon. Right, one, two, and three. Oh, I looked at that um, Imperial Splendor um, video that somebody had done, you know, which is just, um, I, it's just like a, oh, a preview type thing. And um, it played a tune I've never heard before for the French infantry. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Jolly Tabour, which I presume means happy drummer or something like that. Jolly Tabour, because Tabour is a drum, isn't it? So, you know, and, um, but anyway, I don't understand any of the French words because I don't know how to speak French. But, um, right, fleet arrives, we know about all that. Except, right, military technology, reorganised procurement. Now, I don't want wedge formation. Um, I'll have to look at that one again in a minute, won't I? So what about this? Fleet arrives again. Yeah, good. And this one, fleet arrives again. And this one, recruitment report. Right, OK. I think I will get a few more then. I'm not sure, really, I'm even going to get them in the game now. But let's give it a go. Um, this one, French and what you call it. Oh, I didn't move the ship, did I? Oh, come on, get your act together. Naval recruitment, right. OK, and then this one, over to here. Right there. Um, this one, come on, naval recruitment, okay, we'll get one more, I don't really think I need any more of these, but I'll get some anyway, just in case, right, okay, and where was the other one, it was over here, yep, okay, uh, oh, it's the ship I didn't move, oh, I recruited, but didn't move the ship, did I, <laughs> okay, got it the other way around, right, um, all ships moved, um, all recruitment dealt with. Uh, that's my recruitment report. Uh, construction report. Hey, I might be over the 12,000 now. That could be good. Right, okay. Tenanted farms. Um, where are we? Can I upgrade anything in here? Yeah, cotton plantation. Upgrade this. What was that? It was a farm. It's this. Right, okay. Um... And, um, aha, I know what I need now. Maybe before I even get that, in fact, I'm not going to get that. Let's think about this. Come on. We've got cadence marching, which means London can now have the barracks that I want and the arsenal, the gunnery school that I want. How long does that take? Five turns, and this takes four turns. Make sure I've got that first then. And I can afford both! Wow! Can I afford that plantation as well? Um, not sure that I can. Where's the construction report? There it is, in Spain. And it's, is it this one? I can! Excellent! Great! Um, hmm, hmm. Uh, oh, what else can I go for? I know. I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me, research something else. I'm going to research cadence marching this time. I don't want that. I want this. That's going to take nine... No, not that. I want this. What's that? Five turns. That's just perfect, you know. Because in five turns, I'll have my um, uh, my new troops. My, well, my, um, uh, my place built, my barracks built and everything. And uh, then, of course, my troops that are coming out of there will be able to move faster through France, cutting it to shreds. Right, 477 left. I'm going to ignore everything else. <coughs> Military technology... <coughs> Excuse me, voice is going. Nation destroyed Persia. Oh, there you are. I, I had checked it, you know, as a possible place that I could trade with before, and um, you know, before I got on the video and looked at it, I thought, oh crikey, it's only got one place. It's going to die, and it did. Right, agent recruited. That's the one I've already moved. So that's it again. What am I up to now? Twenty-four minutes. Time for another turn end. Hey, life's good. Um, oh, now, should I now be thinking about recruiting in London? 
is this my time to start thinking about it? Um, main thing, you see, is the... No. No, not yet. I want to get up to 12,000 first. I'm approaching it very closely. Can I trade with anybody else? I think I looked at that, didn't I? Barbary States now. No, rubbish. Who's that? Prussia don't like me, so... Okay, let's go for it then. Right, um... Mind you, I haven't got the money, have I, so... To start raising any troops, I don't know why I was even thinking about it, but... Yeah, what, what I'm thinking about doing now, you see, is, um... Raising... Oh, now that's a point. Will that barracks allow me to recruit more? I think it will, you know. At the moment, I think I can recruit five in London. Um, I really want to recruit six. So... That barracks will let me recruit one additional one, won't it? So, hmm. At some point, I'm going to break my alliance with France and boot them out of Spain. Um, actually, I haven't got my palace yet, have I? Or have I? Did I get... Oh. Do you remember, I, it seems like ages ago that I asked the royal palace to be built in, in Mad Madrid. Is that how they say it? My Spanish comes from the Spaghetti Westerns, by the way. <laughs> Madrid, a eh, gringo. Okay, that's about as, it, as Spanish as I get. Um, I'm not even sure that's anything like Spanish because, um, in fact, I used to know somebody um, years and years ago who used to call me Graham. Oh, I hate that. My name's Graham, and, and, and that this Spanish person, I was a beautiful woman, lovely, Catalan area, beautiful, long, black hair, gorgeous person, really nice person. You know, gorgeous in every way, and, and I, I just used to hate the way she called my name. Graham. I could have never ever married a woman like that. Imagine that every morning. Graham. You'd think she was spitting at you, wouldn't you? No, it's no good. I tried to teach her how to pronounce my name, but it just didn't work at all. It just came out even more distorted and weird. So, right, okay, military technology improved grape shop. Yeah! Oh, oh, I've got it. I was going to say we'll go for that now, but what have I got here? Naval College enhances national, enhances national prestige? I don't know. Agent recruited. Another one. Do I need all these agents? Where is he here? Uh, yeah, well, let's just move him over to the French territories, because that's where they're going to end up. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the French. Unit recruited. Ah, yes, that's that sloop. Ah, now that, I remember, is what I was going to do, wasn't it, with my uh, with my agent in London. Um, that's what I've already looked at, is it? Yes, it is. It looks like I've got another one in there, actually. I know, I thought that was an eye then, but it isn't, is it? Right, okay, over to London. And where is London? <laughs> it's over here. Right, okay, let's get that agent. Uh, where's he gone? Did I put him near the port? I put him in the port. Aha, uh -huh, here's me thinking sensibly for a change. <coughs> now, the thing I remember most about agents is that they automatically go on ships. Or do they? <laughs> I don't know if he's on there or not. I have no idea. So I'm going to bring him out a little and see if he is. Vamos! Yes, he's on the ship. Brilliant. Now, um, uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do with him, except drop him in France somewhere. So let's drop him in France somewhere. Um, where? Here? Uh, yeah? Sí, okay. Oh, I got you. Yep. En marcha. Good. Right. Okay. New back to there. Okay. Right. Uh, I've already got an agent in France anyway, but well, not in France. It's in Flanders, but it's in French territory. So, right. Okay. Uh, loads and loads of money spent. Oh, eleven thousand and something. I must be approaching the twelve thousand. Eleven thousand three hundred and seventy something. That is getting very, very close. Only another seven hundred away, isn't it? from gaining my um, 12,000 that I need. So what have I got in here now? I've got a uh, gunnery school, uh, th four away, and the army board, three away. I'm going to start, I wonder if I start recruiting once I've got those, or do I go for it now? See, I can recruit probably everything I need in there. What the army board will enable me to do, is it won't give me any troop, any extra troops that I really need. Crazy, what are these? Light infantry doctrine, I'm going to go in without those. Shortened carbines. Platoon firing would be nice, but it's going to take forever. I'm not going to wait that long. Grenadiers. Light, so it gives me light dragoons. They could be handy, but I think I've got them anyway. I think it's only General's bodyguard that I get out of that, you know. I think it is. Um, uh, let's have a look in here. 
That's the one I'm going for at the moment, is it? It's the army board I'm going for. So what does this one give me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I get exactly the same, do I? Light infantry. Carazias. That'll be Cazador's machine rifling needed for those. General's bodyguard. What? Carabinias? Um, I could start recruiting now, really. I don't see the dif- oh, hang on. No, I don't see the difference. Look, there's no, no difference, is there? Really, in what I can get, I don't think. Carazias. I can get Carazias from here. Can I? Yeah. Um, I, all I can see it doing is allowing me to get more tech, which I don't need anyway. So, anyway, um, 11,350. So I'm going to save the money because I'm going to be spending it in the future. Um, I don't want to go, like I said, until I've got 12,000. I should have 12,000 fairly soon. So let's do one more turn end. And then I will um, finish this video. And then, hopefully, I should have an income of 12,000. If that's the case, we're going to have a build-up of troops. Uh, maybe I should have booted him out now, actually. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to boot him out just before we attack. Just hope he doesn't attack me first. Right. Yeah, so all my um, bandolier boxes are dipped currently, ready to go. Well, I'm going to have two more dips. They, they get dipped in natural oil, you know, um, what they call salad oil in the 17th century. It's basically thinned out uh, linseed oil with lemon oil. Um, and just so that it soaks nicely into the wood. Um, just give um, three soakings of that and that just sort of chases it through. I do it over a three day period so it's completely dried on the outside and uh, you know it sort of chases through to the inside. I put some through on the inside as well of the box. Uh, what I mean is inside deep in, deeper into the wood. The wood's quite thin as well actually so it, it, it really does do a thorough job and the final dipping if you like you know it, it's just, it stays oily for ages. I have to wipe it off, you know. But anyway, um, single payment, 5,600. They want a peace treaty from me for that. So counter offer. I'm not going to pay you anything, but you can have a peace treaty if you really, really desperately need it. No trade available. So are you going to go for that? Uh, right, OK, get lost then. I don't know, who on earth do they think they are that they can demand large amounts of money off me? I think they've got one place. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if they get wiped out soon. I don't know how they get the nerve. Maybe I should have my own little reply that I could give, a little type thing that I could type out, you know, saying, go away, you idiots, right, in, you know, a certain way. <laughs> uh, technological advance, irriga advanced irrigation. Well, presumably that's going to give me an improved income. Recruitment report, do I need any more of these? Let's see what my income is. What's that? Is that 15,000? What is that? That looks like 18,000. What? That is incredible. Well, 50,000 minus 34 is 16,000. That is 16,000. How did they suddenly jump to that? That's, how you say, wicked. Oh, I see. The Ottomans have been cleared. They're opened up for trade. Wow, that trade with Russia is really good, isn't it? Uh huh. Uh, right, okay, well this is it then folks. Right, uh, recruitment report. Okay, I'm going to go for these and send them to foreign parts, as we might say. I'm not going to recruit any more because I don't want to waste my money on, on those. Now's the time for recruiting properly. Okay, for recruiting armies, I should say. Right, okay. Oh, fleet arrives as well. Oh, hang on, let's, let's have a look at the rest of these first. Oops. So I know what I'm doing. <laughs> That'll be a change, wouldn't it? Uh, right, OK. Uh, right, into there. And then these. Navy into there. OK. Um, mm, group report done. Fleet arrives. Aha! Now. This is going to increase my trade even more. What's it going to get to? What did I say? 16,000 and something? This is going to be massive. Uh, right, you to there. I might even have others on the way, because it takes about three turns to get there, you know. Oh, wow. 
Okay, and then those to there as well. Right, and then these to here as well. I might even send some kind of um, a warship over there to help them out, you know. What's that? Fleet arrives, fleet arrives, fleet arrives. So I'll get rid of all three of those. On to here, construction report. Now I'm not going to build any more actually. This is what's improving things, you know. These commercial ports, they're, they're getting much more trade. They're trading out the stuff from these places, you see, that's the thing. Um, but I, like I said, I want to use my money for better things. So, no, not for those. Um, I think it might just be, just in case something attacks there and dries up my income. <coughs> I don't know who might do it, but is there French people in there? Are there French people in there? There's Prussia. I don't know. They might get a bit uppity. I don't know. Can I spare? Whoops. In here. Now I'm not using um, my big warships to do anything over here. Is there anything I can get from here? Just to make sure that that route stays solid. Um, 27 in there. It's a race-built galleon. Um, what have we got in here? I was looking for really a kind of trading ship type galleon type thingy majig. <laughs> okay, uh, that's a technical term for it, that by the way. It's a thingy majig. <coughs> cool. Sorry about this. Navy. Aha. I've got a fourth rate and an admiral's flagship fifth rate in there. What have I got up here? A sloop. I haven't really got anything particularly useful to send from these places. So I'm going to send... Well, I don't know. I'm going to send my race-built galleons over them. <coughs> I think it's more important for them to be looking after uh, my ships on the spice hub there. Spice hubs. Than it is to be looking after that port. I can put something else in there if I need to, can't I? Uh, okay, it's not even trading that port, so... What's this one doing? Okay, we've got troops in there. He could blockade it, certainly, but it's not a high-value place, is it? So we shouldn't be worried, worried too much about that. What about this one? That's only 104. Maybe I'll take these out of here, then, and get them up to there, where they're a bit more central, and do something a little bit more active. I've got somebody in there, anyway, to defend the place. So, okay, that's it for now. Next is mobilisation. What am I getting next turn now? 17,541. Wow, we are cooking with gas. And how are we doing in terms of... Um, I know it's not absolutely fantastic, but for me it's brilliant because this game's been pretty poor in terms of resources for me. Only two turns away from this, three turns away from this, I can start to recruit now and then by the time this is ready I can then get my uh, mortars, can't I? So, And by then that will be built so I should then be able to get six mortars. One, two, three, four, five at the moment. I'm almost certain that this enables me to have recruitment capacity, units in training, three. Okay, and before it was two, so that's excellent. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. And uh, next vid, we start building. Hopefully, I've got enough time to start attacking as well. But anyway, today should be the end of this campaign with just a little bit of luck. Thanks for watching, folks. Back shortly.